if they're made of real timber, what do they look like? What's the profile? There's a lot of different profiles available and sometimes the, the best way to draw it is actually to import it. We get it from somewhere rather than drawing it from scratch. For now, I'll just draw it from scratch. So what we want to do is just create, I'm going to use a uh, polyline or multi-lines to represent it and then I'll add a fill. So we'll make this 150. Make it 10 recess, 30, 10. Basically that does the same thing there. We'll close this out. get rid of my fill, my outline, and then I will subtract the same way. So 10 up, sorry, 30 up, 10 in. And now we'll change this to a dressed timber. So we'll try this one. Yep, and we'll change the color. Great, so we're looking at some type of timber weatherboard. Now we can see that that's going to be a little bit wider commonly from our fiber cement. And if we had a more of a ship lapped uh, traditional, uh, we'd have to change that as well to make it even wider again. But for now, let's go for this one. And of course, if we were finishing at this point, we would cut off the bottom, but for now I won't do that. Let's go drag multiple copies. And I want this to basically sit here, but the reality is sometimes it'll have a bit of a gap between it. So let's make it spacing as at 160. Then we'll just copy one more up. Great. And it might look like that, or normally they're going to be designed to actually butt into each other completely at the back. And just leave that gap at the front. Now again, like before, this could sit hard up against the frame, but what I'm recommending to do is to use a batten behind it. Um, so we have airflow behind, and then we have our sarking or our building wrap. We have here the OSB lining, uh, so that allows us to create a more sealed, S-E-A-L-E-D, sealed, finish or ceiling for our building, our timber frame, which is also insulated, and then the, the fill type that we're using to represent that means this is dressed timber. We can have a, a dressed piece of timber on this side. Let's make this, um, just make it small, we'll make it 90 by 20. And so this is just representing our skirting board and the reality is it definitely wouldn't be well not definitely but probably not 20 let's make it 19 and we'll move this into place so this will sit on the ground now it could be a lot more detailed than this but basically this is what it's trying to do it's creating a a barrier to hide the ugly edge of the plasterboard. It also stops the bottom of the plasterboard getting kicked, and it's a nice way of finishing. So this is a, a variety of our timber frame and clad. Uh, this is a weatherboard variety. In this case, the batten runs vertically, and the weatherboards, because they're horizontal little elements, they need to be fixed vertically, which is why uh, the batten behind it runs in that direction. Now we finish this off with a skirting. Now of course they all would have this type of skirting detail or something like this. It can be more complicated. I'll have a look at some more interesting ones later. And this is our raft slab. And next we're going to be drawing a brick veneer.
Hi, I'm Ellen Mann, Business Manager at Archiad. Robert has been making Archicad tutorial videos on YouTube now for seven years. We launched our new website, Archiad, an easy way to find our tutorials. We provide free and premium resources. You can book personalized consultations with Robert and enroll in a range of new online short courses. Visit us at archie-ed.com.